Good evening, people. We are live, everybody. The service is never good, as always, but welcome to tonight's Bringing Up Bates live chat. An all new episode is about to start in 15 minutes on Up TV. We hope you already have your channel tuned to Up TV. Oh, so, yeah. we're going to tell you all Hi, about guys. it. guys. How y'all doing? I got Isaiah. Oh, yeah. I got Warden. I got Trace. And there's me. So, we're going to tell you all tonight. about it. And Jackson. Trace, and you want to. You want to start us off with what's happening in tonight's episode. Oh, All there's, new, there course. is so much stuff happening in tonight's episode. Lawson, you start off and tell them. There's too much stuff. I know Jackson's <laughs> already been well, for one, yeah. I turn oh, 18. Right. Yeah. Ooh, 18. Jackson turns that's 18. The big, the big number. That's a big one. We're, uh, it's all the guys up here. We're up in Trace's pad yep. here and doing this for y'all. But because they've already mentioned it, I'll tell you about Jackson's birthday. Jackson has a birthday twin and buddy. You want to tell them about that? Well... Technically not a twin, but she was born Birthday four twin. years after I was, <laughs> on the same day I was born. So, so uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And what we got to do for that birthday party was a very unique experience. I even tagged along. Skydiving. We went skydiving. Oh, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> We're not going to tell you that it was indoor <laughs> skydiving. So, We're not. Oh. Uh, and Adelie. I'll, I'll make sure not to say Adelie that. was no there. Way. But you're going to find right, out guys, whether let's Adley not gets... tell them that it was indoor skydiving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And how they know. What else is in this episode? So another thing that's happening is you're going to see my sister Josie uh, developing her business with her friend, which is called Effortless Beauty. It's a wedding, uh, like destination wedding, where they do all the hair and makeup and all of that kind of stuff pertaining to that. Uh, and that's pretty cool. And then you're also going to see Bobby and Kelton working in their new uh, partnership for a plumbing company. And you're also going to see Katie. And that's she's right. Su surprising. Katie and it's Travis, 19th birthday surprise. So I think that is also happening. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's right. Warden, Warden. ripping the Tennessee Standard. Yeah, there he is, right there. For Kelton Support. and uh, Bobby's company. So that's pretty cool. Somebody says, why did I get rid of my uh, private account? I want to let you guys know, there's a lot of fake accounts out there and people that are trying to capitalize on things. If somebody messages you, I mentioned this because I get hundreds of these messages. They say, somebody messaged me and said they were you asking for money or whatever. And it looked like your profile and it said, this is my private account. Not true. My Facebook is verified. My Instagram is verified. It has a blue check mark by it. Do not respond to anybody that is impersonating because I don't know who they are. Could be somebody shady. Obviously, they're not uh, truthful. So, enough of that. Ask us any questions about life, the show, whatever you want. While I got these guys. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, um, oh, we forgot. Dad, what? recovering from oh, shoulder that's right. surgery. That's right. And is he going to keep up his... You know, therapy, rehab. So, rehab and stuff like that. Yeah. You never Yeah, know. I think the most important question is not that he su successfully got through the surgery, but is he going to pay attention to the doctor's order on rehab? Because my dad, they, they say it's hard to keep a good man down, and he's a good man, <laughs> yeah. and it's hard for him to stay down. So that becomes a big problem. Uh I won't get into it because you'll see it in the show. Yeah, but and also a he lot of breaks people, the rules. A lot of people are commenting, congratulating John Lissa today. Yes, they announced that they are having their fourth kid. We don't know no what it's going to be, but they're y'all should let us know whether you think it's a boy or a girl. I'm we, thinking it's a yes, boy because they have three girls. I'm hoping it's a boy. But Alyssa it's thinks it's a girl. Uh, we don't know, but we know it's one of them. So uh, <laughs> we're excited for them. Alyssa had a really creative way to surprise us that I thought was really cool and special. She showed up at the house and she had a letter for everybody. And she was just like, oh, hey, here's something. I was like, oh, that's nice. And it had just like passed my birthday. So I thought maybe it's like a happy birthday or something. Then I opened it up and it was that picture in there saying <laughs> they're welcome, welcoming a new family member. So that was pretty cool and creative. But they have boy. what else are we going to talk about? I know. Tell them to send questions. It's all the dudes up here tonight. That's so, right. Yeah. You got all the dudes. There's Last Jackson. Week, uh, we could just do like this. Jackson, are you single? Okay. Isaiah, are you single? So far. <laughs> Warden, what are you? <laughs> He's not going to talk about it. Trace? Oh, yeah. Okay, and of course, I'm single. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> let's, <Lawson's always> <laughs> let's see. <laughs> <clears throat> Somebody said the odds are it's a girl. If they've already had three girls, the odds are that it's a boy. Please, so, though, it's a boy. Well, 
scientifically not. Mm-hmm. So that's what I believe. The probability of um, fourth girl is actually a lot higher. Trace than is, than is their favorite. Uh, Whoa! Break. Somebody's favorite well, is thank Trace. You. Hallelujah. To right. God be the glory. So that's cool. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, I always tell you guys, you can tweet along on Twitter if you have that thing with the hashtag bring it up you know, Bates it's during it's the show. Really Ask any questions you want. Uh, a lot of people always ask about the church. If you want to come see us at church, go to thebatesfamily.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on the Bible Baptist of East Tennessee tab, and all of the info is there. Service times, how you can stay safe uh, with all that's happening, and also how you can live stream if your church is not having church. Bible Baptist of East Tennessee.com. That's a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, <clears throat> what else about the episode? Can I come to Seneca, South Carolina? I have not been playing a lot of shows since the uh, coronavirus. coronavirus. But I have been working on music constantly. I just had a little special project <laughs> that we finished. So I'm going to tell you all about that as soon as I can. Isaiah is their favorite, somebody said. There you go, Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah. You. And oh. In, his, uh, in his Hawaiian shirt. I know, right? Someone I just got it, actually. No, where's Nathan? Where is Nathan? Yes. Nathan is always flying, teaching right. people how to fly helicopters and airplanes. One of the best pilots I know. Oh, yeah. He's uh, let's see. More questions, more questions. Storm in there in West Virginia. We just had it pouring down like buckets. We were playing rain. spike ball, and it just dumped on us. Like, yeah. it opened up, and there came the rain. Also, pardon this, pardon this angle. It's just hard to get all these guys in. It really is. It's we don't have this really set up or prepared. We're just winging a prayer, as always. And Jackson's right. standing up, so it makes it just so hard. <laughs> but I keep right. having to switch. There you go. Thank you, Jackson. There's all right, our we're all guys. In. Yes. All right. I feel like we should just sit here and we should answer a bunch of questions. Come on. Jason questions. said, when is the whole album coming? Well, Jason, soon. I have already, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have already recorded the whole album. 12 new songs. We are finishing up two special collaborations. And a couple of the songs are already out. So uh, one is called Song for a Girl and the other one is called... What is the other one called? If I Ever Lost Your Love. You forgot the name of the I shouldn't forget song. that. Let's see. Hey from North Carolina. I'm trying to read comments hey, and I'm not... North Dakota. Videos. There's tons of comments on here, Trace. Oh, also, tell me what. Tell me when it's close to 9 p.m. Oh, because Lawson, can you do a giveaway soon? People want a giveaway. A giveaway of what? what do, I don't know. What a do CD, we, I guess CDs? a shirt, Absolutely. food. Um, we'll do a hats. CD or t-shirt hats. giveaway. Right. You need hats. Okay. Lawson, you do need You need hats. one of these there plumbing hats is what y'all yeah, need, guys. There you go. Tennessee. Again, Canadian. if you're just tuning in, tell here's what's the happening in the show. two-second recap. We're talking about One, dad recovering two, from his two. shoulder <laughs> surgery. <laughs> Josie working on her wedding business with her Mine friend. Mine and which Adley's is, birthday. Yep. That's right. They go Sky skydiving. Sky diving, which uh, is a blast. Shout out to Taylor. Uh, I just saw that. Someone has watched every episode. Thank you guys for watching. Sometimes I don't even keep up with all the episodes because so much happens. So much content comes out. I think this is season 10, right? Or season 9. But we appreciate you guys watching. Obviously, it sounds cliche, but if it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't be doing this. So, uh, thank you. Let's see. Somebody got hit by a tropical storm. Oh, no. Say something, Trace. I say don't forget that you can tweet along the Bringing Up Bates. That's right. With the hashtag Bringing Up Bates tonight in tonight's episode. Somebody said Sanoa. Let me see what I said. Oh, somebody was at a concert in Georgia and said I told them I would make sure they got the first... CD when it comes out. I will make sure you get that. So, uh, Warden is their favorite from Ooh, Michigan. Hi from Michigan. Warden. Hi. Yeah. Warden don't say a lot. Nope. Okay. We're somebody's not. watching in quarantine from Pigeon quarantine Forge. Quarantine. Okay. We love Pigeon Forge. If you're looking for a family vacation spot, even oh, with everything that's happening, great place to social distance. Go get you a cabin in Gatlinburg. The place is magical. We... Always talk about Tennessee because oh, yeah, it's it the greatest also state. Your little niece's birthday today. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. That's right. So happy birthday to Brooklyn. Cutest little girl with the most energy, I think, of all of my the kid nieces. Has got energy. She's she is a handful of awesome. So someone said we need to start. We need to open a Bates 
boys boutique, you know. And right. they boys, boys, we, boys clothing. We are not necessarily <laughs> not with the boutique, but I feel like we sh- we could put out some good clothes. We're not necessarily yeah, the style icons. We just we uh, work do it, hard. Listen. Hey, me and Zara we wearing Hawaiian. It. That's right. No, no, we go we go Hawaiian. Yeah, we do like other work. Like me and Warden do full time construction with paint construction. And Zaya, he comes in and helps a little bit. Jackson, when he's in town, Jackson is getting ready to go to LART. So he's pretty excited about that, getting prepared for that. That's right. Somebody said they are are preparing for their last radiation treatment. Congratulations. I pray that your recovery continues to go well. Well, uh, How many guys are in a relationship? I always tell people, just watch the show because that'll keep you up to date on relationships. And all the other important life news that we're willing to share or not share okay a lot of folks are saying happy birthday to brooklyn so we will relay the message to her trace how close are we on time right now we still got four minutes we got four minutes ask us anything you want Again, we told you what's happening Hello in the episode. Hello from Indiana, someone said. Denver, Colorado. I'm going to be out there on Monday. I've been there once. Oh, You're go. going Monday? That's right. Monday. Okay. That's wild. Have I ever been to Crossville? I love Crossville, Tennessee. I drive I through just, it like every week because I, I go to Nashville. four times in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did. Lawson, you can start with all the boots selling on the store. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a lot of oh, boots. Lawson has a ton. But I feel like they overestimated in that episode. No, no, they, oh, they did not Lawson is a cowboy, and ever since he's, what, been 14 yeah. or 15, he's been collecting cowboy boots, and he has a bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Somebody said something about their grandma. Hi, grandma, who is 81 and is watching right now. Oh. We you. hope you're having a great day, and thank you for watching Bringing Up Bates. Uh, right. Yeah, we wish you all the best. Lost Thanks for watching. Could you give us an update on Esther Faith? Yes, so uh, a lot of folks have seen, especially because it was covered in the last episode, I lived in the Philippines for about three months from the week before Thanksgiving all the way past Valentine's Day, uh, working uh, on behalf of a little girl She's 10 years old, named Esther Faith, who needs a life-saving heart operation. She has a congenital heart defect called a tetralogy of flow, which is a number of different defects combined. But basically, as a child with that condition gets older, uh, her heart condition digresses and the cardiac output is lowered. So uh, it wasn't able for her to get that operation in her home country. So, long story short, uh, myself and a whole lot of other people have been working on her behalf and are this close to her getting that final operation to fix her heart condition where she will have a chance to live a normal childhood and also a full full life because without an operation, uh, she will not make it. So, keep her in your prayers. Her name is Esther Fate. I have posted a lot about her on uh, my Facebook, my Instagram, and her GoFundMe page for her operation. So, yeah, thank you for all who have kept her in your prayers if you're aware of her story. All right, someone, some people are asking, what is everyone's ages? So start with Jackson. Yeah, let's go, Jackson. Jack. I'm 18. Whoa, he's old. Yeah, he turns 18. Zaya, 15. 17. I'm, 17. I'm 23. <gasps> and I am 24. No, I'm 28. <laughs> he's old. He's 28. <laughs> Okay, someone is asking about the different uh, World War II memorials in the Philippines. I have been in the Philippines probably, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten times. And I've been once. If you ever go to the Philippines, it is oh, yeah. must-see important that you go to the War, World War II memorials. There, uh, So much happened, so many different battles. A lot of people think of the Philippines as one of the smaller countries with just a few islands. The Philippines is over 7,000 islands. Just a massive country over such a widespread... I'll give you an example population-wise. New York City is, I think, 11 million people right now. Metro Manila is 23 million. That's just the capital city, not counting the 7,000 islands. So, big place with a lot of very awesome people. Uh, One of my favorite countries that I've ever been to. So, what else do we got? We got 15 seconds. We got 15 seconds. So, let's wrap this... Uh, Tweet along with the hashtag on Twitter, Bringing Up Bates. We love you guys. Hope we everyone is tuned in to Bringing Up Bates. Get ready for the new episode. episode. Tell us what you think about it next week or on Twitter. 
Adios from and the crew. Hopefully. Stay safe, everyone. Next God, time, next week, we'll get a lot of girls in here. That's right. <laughs> God, but we're talking about sisters. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, sisters, of course. Sisters. Okay. Sisters. Okay. Sisters. Okay. Definitely. okay. Definitely no. See God you guys bless. next time. Adios. For full episodes, scenes, and exclusive videos of Bringing Up Bates, go to uptv.com slash Bates.